Let me show you how to replace the blower wheel in a gas or electric GE dryer. Disconnect your electric or gas dryer from the wall outlet. Open the door. Remove these two screws. And close the door. Lift and remove the top panel. Take a piece of coat hanger wire and bend two hooks on the ends. Remove these two front panel holding screws. You could use the coat hanger wire to hold the front panel like this. Pull the front panel away from the drum and hold it with the coat hanger wire. Disconnect the wires from the door switch. Take a picture before disconnecting the wires for reference. Remove the coat hanger wire from the front panel and remove the panel. Remove these two screws. Use long sleeves to protect your arms from scratching. Put your arms under the drum. You will need to push the idler arm and hook it to the motor bracket like this. Hook the idler pulley. And remove the belt from the motor. Remove these two screws. And bend up the controls panel a little bit. Remove the belt. And remove the drum. Push these wires through this hole. You will need to remove these two long screws. Disconnect the wires from this thermostat. And remove the thermostat. Disconnect the wire harness from the motor switch. Disconnect the two wires from the belt switch. Remove the green ground wire from the motor bracket. Move the wires out of the way. Remove the idler pulley assembly. Remove these two screws. Grab the motor assembly and take it out. Put the motor on a bench or on top of a table. Remove this big screw. Remove the side of the blower holding bracket. Remove the bad blower wheel. Install the new blower wheel on the motor shaft. Put the other half of the blower holding bracket on the shaft. And screw in and tighten the screw. Now the motor is ready to be installed. Set the motor in place. Secure it with the two holding screws.
Install the idler pulley assembly and hook it to the motor cradle. Connect the green ground wire to the motor cradle. Connect the two wires to the belt switch. Connect the wire harness to the motor switch. Install this thermostat. Connect the white and orange wires to the thermostat. Install these two long motor screws. Put the door switch wires through the hole. Make sure that the Teflon sleeve is on the rear bearing shaft before installing the drum. And that it goes inside of this hole when you install the drum. Hook the idler pulley assembly on the hook on the motor cradle before installing the drum. Grab the drum and set it in place. Put the belt around the drum. The ridges should be facing the drum. If it is like this, you got it the wrong way. Use long sleeves to protect your arms. Put your hands under the drum. Place the belt on top of the idler roller and under the motor pulley. And push and disengage the pulley from the motor cradle. Turn the drum a couple of times by hand, so the belt could align itself in place. Screw in these two screws. Lower the controls panel and secure it with the two screws. Place the front panel on these bottom hooks. And hold it in place with the coat hanger wire. Connect the wires to the door switch. Connect these wires. Remove the coat hanger wire. Install the front panel making sure the drum rides on the Teflon slides. Secure the front panel with the two screws. When you install the top panel it's supposed to hook like this. Set the top panel in place. Secure it with the two holding screws. That was the way to replace the blower wheel in a GE dryer. To see more of my free videos, visit my website at www.wdrvc.com.